Hello again, YouTubes. This is Hannibus here, and today I'm going to show you how to merge and separate your pattern clips. Now, if you can tell, I'm using the clip section, the playlist section, instead of the block section. It will also work in the block section, but I find it easier in the pattern section, I guess you could say. So what I'm going to do is first, if you'll notice, half of my song right now is separated into drums, whoosh, lead, fat chords, and bass. Now, the drop section is not. It is one pattern, pattern 16, for instance. Now let me open up the pattern so you can get an idea of the clutter it has. Now this is just, you know, the bass drop. Everything's pretty well labeled for you. And I will just give you a little, a uh, little test of this just to show you what it sounds like. Right. So, as you can tell, they're all in one pattern. Now, I've already previously separated the rest of these, so I will show you how I've done this and then merged the patterns into longer horizontal patterns. So first thing you need to do is pick the pattern you want to separate, which is pattern 16. So I double click that. Now I will go up into my pattern selector right here and right click onto it. Now you will see a bunch of options which you should learn because they are quite helpful. But what I'm interested in is split by channel. What this will do is take the patterns that are conglomerated into the pattern 16 and split them accordingly from top to bottom. Now let me just show you what I mean. So if you could tell now, 16 is just the top pattern that I had, and this is separated into a number of different things now. Let me zoom in here so you can get an idea. If you'll notice, I can take these and drop one down. Oops, let me just, there we go. So as you can tell, now each pattern is separated. So this isn't a problem because this is actually what we wanted. But now we need to separate them from each other and then place them into their proper positions. So let me just drag these down a bit. I'm going to make a little bit of space here for everything else. I'm just holding control and dragging down. Now I'm going to hit shift down just to move my pattern clips down a little bit. All right now I'm going to refocus onto my pattern blocks and just continue moving them down until there is nothing overlapping. Now this might take a second, so just bear with me here. All right, um, so I'm hanging up. Uh, nothing there. Sign chaining. All right. Now I might need to move these down a little bit more just to make room. So I'm just going to do that. Hit shift. Down, 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 down. There we go. So now if you can tell, basically, um, let me just make sure I've got all these here in the proper order. So you can basically see that they've all been separated accordingly. Uh, and there we go. So now what you want to do is basically figure out what goes with what. So say there are drums, which you want to keep into the same pattern block. You basically find your drums, your kick, your side chain, your crash, and you just overlap them. So I'm going to do it into the bottom one because it is easier for me, I guess you could say. And it's easier to visualize. So the kick, the hat, the side chain, and the snare. are now all into the same pattern block. Now you want to make sure that nothing is overlapping or like you want to make sure everything says one, four, eight or whatever length your pattern block is. So then what you do is you basically highlight everything holding control and your right or your left mouse button and then you go into your options, your um, playlist options, edit, and then merge pattern clips. That will make a merged clip. Now what I like to do is hit F2 and rename it for whatever properties it is. This is the drums, so I will go drums bass because this would be the drop section. Drums drop, I'll do drums drop. 
So now you have your drum section. Now you can take your drum section. I'll get this sub bass out of the way. I will move this sub bass, uh, sub bass down a bit. Get your drums and move them back into the proper order. So now your drums are located where your drum section is. Now you can do this with everything. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna line up all my bases right now. So let me just do this. Drop bass. We'll go over this bass and make sure they are all on the ones. The massive and synth leads. Oops. Now see I've overlapped this a bit so you can kind of tell that it's not even, which is important that you make sure everything is even. So let me just get back into this and drop this down here. Uh, the choirs and the chords will go together. So there you go. We've got three separate groups now. This is the base. We're going to merge these. So we're going to go to your file, merge pattern clips, and we will rename these with F2 base clips. Base clips. And for the chords, we will do the same thing. Oops. Edit. Merge pattern clips, F2, rename, bass chords. But now, once you've merged all your clips and placed them into the proper sections, bass clips, bass chords, uh, let me just move these up into the chord section, and I will move the bass back into the bass section. Now you can tell I've got my drums, my bass, and my chords. But if you remember the pattern 16, I believe it was. Yes. So now you'll see that pattern 16 up 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Some of these have renamed themselves into what you have, what you, what pattern you have in the pattern block. Sorry. Some of these have renamed themselves into what instrument has oh, fuck. Bleh. All right, let me just pause this for a second. Okay. So each pattern has now taken the name of the instrument that it held in it and what you know properties it had. So if you notice, um, pattern sixteen is still labeled sub bass because it was the first thing on the top of the split pattern that we have. So you'll notice that you get a lot of extra clips now because it's uh, you've merged a couple which have become separate clips and the ones that you've separated are also separate clips now. So what you must do is actually go back and delete all of these if you like. You don't need to, but I recommend it. So what we do is go find say pattern 16, which is this. We will now delete. Let me just make sure I'm saved first. Always save before you do anything drastic. So get your sub base, delete. You will go into the shift control delete or right click on the pattern and hit delete. Are you sure you want to? Yeah, pretty much. So you just keep going through this until you, you know, get to your patterns that you've named. So base clips, base clips, huh? Let me just make sure I don't have any base clips. Ah, base clips, yes. Okay, so I'm not going to delete bass clips or bass drop or chords. Chords one, no, 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 pattern one, pattern one, that's the reason. All right, so all of these right here, basically, you will need to delete. So 31 hats. Let me just make sure. Drop bass, yes. See? I've also got a section over here where everything is split now. Let me just uh, pause this for a second and I will clean everything up. So I've cleaned it up a little bit. I've gotten rid of all the extra patterns. And now you'll notice what used to be pattern 16 right here, which says bass clips now, has now been split into three separate patterns. Pattern 16, 17, 18, up to 19. 19 is the next pattern that I will be splitting. But all of the in individual instruments I have deleted because I don't really need them. If I do need them, the same patterns are in the either bass clips, bass chords, or drums drop. For instance, the bass chord is now all of the 
you know, the choirs and the chords that I had, but it is in a separate pattern. So if I still need individual patterns, I can still copy and paste them into separate patterns. And that is basically it. Once you have everything cleaned up, you can continue on to your next pattern 20. If I wanted to, I could easily split by channel and then separate them again, merge what I need and delete what I don't need. And this makes it easier to create individual patterns within the play, uh, pattern block and then separating them into the playlist later because I know sometimes when you're just playing around you just want to play with one pattern get the pattern right but then sometimes you you know you need to separate things so this is an easy way to well not the easy way this is the only way that I know how to separate and merge clips if you know an easier way I would love to find out um, thank you and let me just give you a little preview of what this sounds like with it separated. So as you can tell it sounds exactly the same except now it is separated into three separate song pieces. Uh, I hope this helps, and uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.